This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at a comparison of the Lewis theory and the Bronsted Larry theory of acids and bases. So we'll start with a review of each theory of acids and bases. In the Bronsted Larry theory, an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. In the Lewis theory, an acid is an electron pair acceptor and a base is an electron pair donor. Next, we'll look at examples to compare the two theories. In our first example, we have the reaction between HCl and H2O to produce the hydronium ion and the chloride ion. In terms of the bronsted larry theory, the HCl donates a proton to H2O. So the HCl is acting as a bronsted larry acid. In terms of the Lewis theory, the HCl accepts a lone pair of electrons from H2O. So from this we can see that the HCl acts as both a bronsted larry acid and a Lewis acid. Therefore, all bronsted larry acids are also Lewis acids. In our next example, we have the reaction between NH3 and HCl to produce the ammonium ion and the chloride ion. In terms of the bronsted larry theory, the NH3 accepts a proton from HCl. In terms of the Lewis theory, the NH3 donates a lone pair of electrons to HCl. So in the reaction, NH3 is acting as both a bronsted larry base and a Lewis base. Therefore, all bronsted larry bases are also Lewis bases. In our next example, we have the reaction between BF3 and NH3 to produce an adduct which is BF3NH3. In the reaction, BF3, which is boron trifluoride, accepts a lone pair of electrons from NH3. And NH3 donates a lone pair of electrons to BF3. Therefore, boron trifluoride acts as a Lewis acid and ammonia as a Lewis base. So this reaction can be described in terms of Lewis theory, but not in terms of bronsted larry theory. This is because the reaction does not involve the transfer of protons. So BF3 is acting as a Lewis acid, but it's not acting as a bronsted lowry acid. And NH3 is acting as a Lewis base, but it's not acting as a bronsted lowry base. In our final example, we'll look at the reaction between a copper 2 plus ion and six water molecules. The product of the reaction is a complex ion. Each water molecule, which is known as a ligand, donates a lone pair of electrons to the central metal ion. So the ligands are acting as Lewis bases. The copper 2 plus ion accepts the lone pairs of electrons, therefore it's acting as a Lewis acid. Once again, it is not possible to describe this reaction in terms of the bronsted larry theory. This is because the reaction does not involve the transfer of protons. So the copper 2 plus ion is acting as a Lewis acid, but not as a bronsted larry acid and the water molecules are acting as Lewis bases, but not bronsted larry bases. So we'll end the video with a summary. The first examples are molecules with lone pairs of electrons, such as ammonia and water. These molecules can act as both bronsted larry bases and Lewis bases. The next examples are acids such as hydrochloric acid and nitric acid. These can act as both bronsted larry acids and Lewis acids. Next, we have electron deficient species such as boron trifluoride and aluminium chloride. These can only act as Lewis acids because they have no protons to donate. And finally, we have metal cations such as copper 2 plus and chromium 3 plus. Like boron trifluoride and aluminium chloride, they have no protons to donate Therefore, they are not bronsted larry acids.